writer of Shalom, Akim. I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, Double Line City Elders and Apostles, a great millstone and rule well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing the truth and sincerity and diligence. Right as Brother Lord Yah from the Great Millstone Lake Charles, Louisiana, camp coming back again with another quick lesson. And as always, Lord will it be edifying to the elect. All right, so I basically want to, uh, you know, touch upon a quick uh, topic of what, man, the, the brotherhood being unified. All right. Y'all by Shem Yah Shai, you know, according to um, what 1 Corinthians 12 chapter, when it speaks about, uh, you know, what, that, that, that uh, body being built up. All right, the house of David, all right, is being built up. Y'all by Shem Yah Shai has basically uh, manifest and made it known unto us, all right, that what he have pulled uh, many diverse brothers from different walks of life. All right, and what gathered us together, all right, to where we're we now synchronized on uh, in a, the same spirit, all right, and, and ultimately what we're supposed to continue to be on one accord, all right, because prior to the truth, and like, like, like I just uh, the point I just made, you know, hey, we was all uh, basically worried about different uh, things, you know, but now we're all worried about what uh, fulfilling and doing the will of Yahweh Shem Shah, all right. What hastening the day to where where we 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 uh can can, can what continue to, to prophesy, but but also look for what that that new heaven and new earth together, all right, to us for for us to come together and what glorify you how by Shemal Shah, all right, it should be uh no divisions uh, uh, amongst the camp, all right, it should be no divisions amongst the camp because ultimately, uh you how by Shemal Shah put you uh, amongst uh. You know, these brothers for uh, growth purposes, all right? Every different brother has a uh, different uh, trait, all right, that Yahweh Bashim Yahshah has embedded in them, all right? So, well, you can pick up on those things, and those brothers, likewise, can well, pick up on uh, certain things that you have, all right? And it's supposed to be what? Continual growth amongst the camp, uh, the camp, all right? So, this is uh, Psalms chapter 133, verse 1. It says, uh, Behold, how good and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity. All right, man, it's a beautiful thing for 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 brothers to uh, dwell together in unity. All right, because what man, you increase uh, what what the scriptures say um uh, in Proverbs. All right, see, all right, sharpen the iron. All right, this is uh, Salaki. Like <laughs> All right, by you by you being a, a, a monk, brothers, you know. You, you is continual growth, all right, and learning, all right, because what e each brother has different situations that they have been through, okay, and you might not have uh, have, have been through uh, a certain situation, all right, and, and you probably have been through a situation that another brother hasn't went through, all right, so where you can get that brother what a a advice, all right, righteous advice on uh how to conduct yourself in this situation, all right, how to uh basically become strong and overcome that, all right, that's what your about your mouth shall put us amongst each other for. Okay, it says, uh, Proverbs 27 and 17, it says, iron sharpened the iron, so a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. You see, the countenance of a friend. Let's go into this word countenance on the uh, Elamites online. It says his behavior. You see, you're going to sharpen your brother's behavior, all right, to have your brother way in, in a kingly mindset, Okay. To not have your brother, uh, what, uh, basically being a nigga, all right, because that old man is it, it, supposed to be, uh, a uh, beard, okay, and, and totally dead, all right. It says conduct, and this is one of the, uh, the one of the major things, all right, which which goes right back to character, all right, how you conduct yourself, all right. We're supposed to, uh, conduct ourselves in a whole different manner, all right. Now that we've been, uh, transformed and converted into new creatures, it says with the outer appearance. You see, the outward appearance, but what? When you're amongst the brotherhood, it all starts from the inner man, all right? When that inner man is, it is changed, okay? You're going to, what, have a, a new look about you, all right? <laughs> Which brings me to, I'm going to jump from, uh, yeah, Ecclesiastes, the 8th chapter, all right? You're going to have a, no, a whole new look about you, all right? Because what, that, that spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah is going to, what, be magnified in you, okay? It says, uh, Ecclesiastes 8, 1, who is... Is as wise, so like who is as the wise man, and who knows the interpretation of a thing? 
a man's wisdom make it his face to shine. You see that that outer appearance, but it all starts from that inner man. All right, because what? That's where that wisdom resides. It. All right. His countenance is going to be different. It says, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. Okay. So what? Everyone is going to see it. All right. It says, uh, his whole demeanor. <laughs> you see, his uh bearing, his conduct. All right. Uh, restraint, moderation. Way one contains himself. All right. Uh, let me see. To hold together, enclose, from assimilated form, kind with together. Okay, to stretch. You know, being with a, a, a base in the bomb. All right. And these all are uh, traits that come from you continuously being amongst what the the, the men of your house, Shai. All right. Being amongst the men of uh, what the scriptures say be uh, be continual uh, amongst the the men of understanding. All right. This is Daniel chapter three and verse twelve. And I, I basically wanted to get this point to go and showed you how what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, man, they was brothers. All right, and what they they stood and, and what they was uh, unified together. All right, in, in unity, they was brought together and, and, and what continuously dwell in unity even to the end. You know, when they went through their great uh, temptation together, all right, going with being put in that furnace. You see? They was put in, in that furnace together. Guess what? They all, what, man, and stayed synchronized in that same spirit on one accord. All right? And they was like, hey, man, we got to die, and just, this is just what it's going to be. All right? And what? Through through fate, Yahweh Shemel Shai delivered them, you know, for not bowing down. Okay? This is Daniel chapter 3 and verse uh, 12. It says, uh, and and there are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Why? Because they have fear and trust and, and what? Uh, faith in Yahweh Shemel Shai. All right, and they were strong. They were strong because of what, man? What the scripture said, uh, Three, four, let me grab it. Ecclesiastes chapter 4. And, uh, all right, verse 9. It says, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow, but woe unto him that is left alone when he falleth. For he have not another to help, to help him up. See, so these brothers endured these things together, you know. They seen one brother get thrown in there, and it was like, man, they look, hey, look, look, look how the, you know what I'm saying, enduring. You know, look how he, he did that. You know, he didn't, uh, basically, uh, give up his integrity, you see. He stood up for what he believed in. So what, guess what, we're going to follow and, and, and also keep our trust in Yahweh by Shem Shah. You know what, even in, in the worst situations, Okay. It says, uh, help him up when he fall it. Again, if two lie together when they have heat, but how can one be warm alone? <laughs> you see? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And three uh, and a three-four cord is not quickly broken. You see? There was strength amongst those brothers. Okay? They seen one brother go through and, and uh, uh, hey, man. And that goes to show you how, how we lost power as a nation, all right? And you look at the, the, the Willie Lynch letter, okay, and how they uh, broke, broke the families up. They saw that, and, and it was what? In immediate fear, you see? To where we wasn't uh, standing up uh, boldly before their faces, you see? But now it, it, it's changing, all right? It's getting back to, to what? The ordinance of how Yahweh Shem Yahshua set it up, all right? It says, uh, yeah, a 3-4 cord is not quickly broken, okay? So it's going to be uh, integrity that holds these brothers' faith together, all right? Dwelling uh, every day, because what, man, the, the more you be around a brother, all you're doing is, uh, what, building a, a bond, all right? And you're getting uh, strength from that, okay? And that's going to uh, keep you uh, stable, all right? Although those scriptures say wisdom, knowledge, and understanding shall what, uh, be the stability of thy times, but you're also going to have... Those memories that you uh, have with, with brothers in this truth, all right, to keep you strong, all right? You might have had an incident 
uh, prior to what catching hell in Jacob's trouble, and a brother got you through that situation. So what? Now that you're on your own, you can easily get through it. Why? Because you've been through it before. All right. And that's why the scripture speaks a lot on uh, experience. See, this is a uh, real quick. This is a uh, Sirach chapter thirty-four, in verse nine. It says, "A man that has traveled it knoweth many things, and he that have much experience will declare wisdom." All right. And this is why the scriptures tell you. To continuously be amongst what the men of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shah. Alright, why? Because these men have experience. Alright? They've had the guidelines of life, um, uh, many diverse situations, alright, that, that you're eventually gonna come across. And what? You're basically getting all forewarned about it. Alright? It says, He that have no experience knoweth little. Alright? And this is why what? Many fall. Alright? But it's not all always about the fall. You know, it's about what? How you get up and, and learn from it. All right, and that also brings forth experience. It says, but he that has traveled is full of prudence. You see? You that have traveled. If you're going to travel, it basically means what had a, a, a journey. All right? Constantly had a, had a journey to where you're going to go through many different obstacles in this thing. All right? And ultimately, everything that's placed before us is just to build us up in the faith. Okay? So back in uh, Daniel's the third chapter, well, in verse 13, it says, Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now, if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, sackboard, the psaltery, and the dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fire furnace. All right. And what does the scripture say? And uh, let me grab it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it should be the the second chapter. The Lord have chosen basically the acceptable and the, uh, the fire furnace. Furn the furnace of adversity. Con. This is uh, Sirach chapter 2 and verse 5. It says, For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. All right? Acceptable men. So these men were accepted and, and found favor and was pleasing in the eyes of the Yahweh Shah for what? Keeping their uh, integrity. All right? But it all stemmed from them, what? Dwelling in unity. All right? Being in that same spirit. Okay? Had one of the brothers uh turned their back on them, hey, he wouldn't have been favorable in the eyes of Yahweh by Shah. All right, the Lord wouldn't have been uh what well pleased with that. Okay, it says, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of the burning fire furnace. And who is that power that shall deliver you out of my hands? All right, and, and at this moment they already knew like shit, hey, Yahweh by Shemiel Shah is gonna deliver me. You know why? Because he's the same one that that set you up. You see. And this is the faith and the trust that you must have in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai in each and every uh, individual situation. It says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fire furnace. You see? And he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, it be known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy God. So even if we didn't you know, even if, even if the Lord didn't save us, we're still not bowing down. That's how much faith these brothers had instilled in them. Okay, it says, now worship, it says, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace seven times more than it want to be heated. See? And he commanded the most mighty men that were in the army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the, the, bar, the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot, 
And the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So right before they were thrown in there, guess what? It was a boost of fate from the jump. You see? Because the ones that went to go and throw them out, they got basically put in the fire. It says, Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste, you know, meaning he rose up quickly and spake and said unto his counselors, Didn't he, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fort is like the son of the Most High. You see? And when you continue to go and, 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 uh, later on into that, the, this chapter, it basically it explains and, and validates the point. You know, even from Ke uh, Nebuchadnezzar, he tells you that, hey, the, the power of the Israelites is the true God. You see? And that's what Yahweh Bashim Yahshua being glorified. Okay, but what, man, it starts from brothers dwelling in unity. Okay, to have what that that great uh, foundation of faith and trust that that's uh you know you have towards your how about All right, this is Job chapter twelve and uh, I started verse twelve. It says, "With the ancient is wisdom, and the length of days understanding. With him is wisdom and strength. He have counsel and understanding. You see, with the ancient, how about basically has us what under under the ancient men. You see, under the men of old." Okay, because what they have that uh, experience, okay, they have that experience, not only to to uh, uh you know bring forth good things and pass it down to us, to also show what their faith, you know, that's why the scripture said, "What man after these these men faith, you, you know, you basically follow, okay, and you you're gonna be built up in the spirit to where you have a foundation, and guess what, you're gonna have men to to follow you, okay." But man, the, the the really the the moral and the uh, topic of this uh, les lesson is based off what man brothers being synchronized in the same spirit, all right, being uh unified, okay. This is what this thing is about, all right. Be unified with your brother, all right. Lift your brother up, all right. If your brother need help, hey, help their brother out, all right. Do everything uh what as unto the Lord, okay. So you do something for, for your brother, hey, just look upon it as if you're doing it to your house shy. All right? That's the way to the continual love and, and what, man, the, the brotherhood and the bond that we're supposed to have with each other. All right? Because at the end of the day, man, it, it's really just us uh, in, in this thing, okay, uh, against the world. You see? So with that, man, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, with Double lines to the elders and apostles of great millstone and real will. And much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing truth and sincerity and diligence. Till next time, shalom.